Hi, it's Sandy again. I went to the thrift store yesterday and I found this coolest little box and it has a leaf on it and I decided I'm going to paint it for for a, in a video. And um, it's just a simple leaf and it's a simple way to do a leaf. And because the color was so nice, I thought I really needed to do that. So um, I wanted to show you how to paint that and I am going to paint again on my Cotman um, watercolor it's the cold press and I'm going to use this uh, this postcard pack and um, since I did the video with the orchid in it with where I painted the orchid and I compared the papers I've really uh, I, I really liked the, this paper in that video um, and I've been playing with it a little bit more and I'm finding a few things uh, that I don't like about it. And, you know, I was told it was a student grade paper and um, yeah, I can tell it's a student grade paper. I still like it better than Arches though. And I haven't found my paper that I'm going to uh, replace Arches with, but um, I'm just going to use this for this video. So I'm drawing in kind of a some more artistic version of this straight leaf. I want some a little bit of flow. I don't want it so straight. I don't want the point sticking straight up at the center of the top of the paper. And um, so I'm just to do it in real quickly. I am using uh, yellow and uh, I Shevingen, Shevingen, yellow medium. I think maybe that's how you say that. I'm using purple magenta from Schminky. And from Holbein, I'm going to be using Ultramarine Deep. And I've got Quinacridone Burnt Orange with Daniel from Daniel Smith. And my last one is Earthen Green from American Journey. And I did not actually mean to use a tube of paint from five different manufacturers each, but I did that. So I am going to, uh, this is pretty self-explanatory. I've just speeded up the video a little bit so that it just doesn't put anybody to sleep, but it's basically, it's not too far from uh, real time. And I'm just going to play some music and uh, not talk a lot because it's really pretty self-explanatory.
So I'm finishing up at p putting all of the the last washes on. I put a little bit of gold color on the left side of the leaf where uh, it's closer to where I envisioned the light in this picture. And I've put the, another uh, layer of red and blue on the other side. And I'm just putting a just a real thin layer of the red mix um, over the yellow to just kind of bring that all together. And uh, so there's my leaf. I uh, I enjoyed doing this. This was actually really a fun uh, thing to do. And um, this will just be end up being something I'll photograph and use as a greeting card. Um, I hope that you enjoyed the video and kind of see the process of how to make a leaf like this. And uh, if you did enjoy the video, please uh, subscribe. If you uh, watch any of the ads that are after any of our, my videos, we get a little bit of money. So I'd appreciate you watching the ads if it's something you're interested in. And do, please subscribe. Uh, my next video is coming up very soon, and it is actually going to be an oil painting video. So I hope you enjoy that. Thanks a lot.